everyone, hey, this is a Doug Boat KD7DUG. So it's a perfect day to actually test this out. So I have this uh, Hypermite uh, kit that I put together, and this is a, a CW uh, audio filter. Um, it's like 25 bucks. Uh, super fun to build, um, and it's it works pretty well. So I just wanted to show you guys all what can it do. So I have this old uh, Kenwood TS430S uh, here, and um, in the in the wide range here. I'll put it on the screen what the the CW width in terms of the of the um, the filter is for the wide, but I know on the narrow, it goes uh, it's a 500 hertz, so that definitely cleans it up. So I don't necessarily need it on on this radio because I have the narrow filters. Um, but one of the things that you uh, if you don't have a filter, um, and these if you have an older rig and you don't have uh, the CW filters. Uh, this might be an option to reduce some of the the static in the background. You can hear just from the just from being on 20 meters, just the QRN. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get this hooked up. It's gonna be coming through a, an uh, an external speaker. It's just an old Kenwood SP230. So yeah, let's get this thing hooked up and see what it actually does. Now it's definitely, I'm just from listening to it right now, I can definitely tell that it's it's narrowed the bandwidth and reduced some of those other signals coming in adjacent on this frequency of uh, 1403380. So yeah, it's definitely, uh, definitely made a huge improvement. It definitely got rid of all that static as well. Um, I'm sure, oops, sorry about the camera there. So I'm sure even the narrow, it's probably even cleaner. Wow, that sounds really good, actually. Okay, so there it is with the, this Hypermite uh, CW audio filter. And then if we go without. Yeah, so now you can hear all those other signals adjacent to this frequency. So you put it back on. So yeah, this is... This is a pretty cool option for, you know, these older radios, the filters are getting harder and harder to find. Um, you could definitely use one of these. It's run off a nine volt battery. I'm trying to figure out um, a kit for it. <laughs> like a, like a, not a kit, but a, uh, a box. So I have this Altoids tin. I'm trying to figure out how to get it in there. Uh, I have to do some uh, thinking about that. But yeah, this is a, I mean, it's pretty cool how you can remove those signals with a you know a kit that costs twenty five dollars. Um, this will work on anything. Um, it doesn't have to necessarily be a, a ham radio. It could be a, a regular radio to reduce some of that static. So yeah, let's do it one more time uh, without the this hooked up. I mean, just from listening to that. I can hear probably two or three other stations. Okay, let's try it again, just to give you one more thing here real quick, so give you an idea. So yeah, this is uh, pretty, pretty, pretty neat. So yeah, you can definitely clean up your, uh, your uh, CW audio without even buying filters. Um, yeah, I'll have that on the screen uh, earlier and then I'll put it actually in the description too. I can't remember what the wide filter range is on this, uh, but I'll put that in there as well. But yeah, everybody, hey, thanks for coming along with this. I uh, just wanted to show this video. Um, it's a pretty cool kit. Um, you know, it's something you can do if you're not, if you're into kit building, I, I kind of am because I like building things and trying to figure out what's actually, you know, how they're made and what's going on, you know, uh, on these components. So yeah, 
It is, let me see, yeah, it's $28.65, so, hey, you can't beat it, um, and it definitely is cleaning up that audio, so, all right, everyone, so, yeah, I appreciate uh, y'all watching, and I uh, uh, hope you have a good weekend, and uh, until next time.